Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to July's full layout chair. So July of course is off the board month. Now throughout the year uh, we do off the board on the last Wednesday of every month and in July off the board runs for the entire month every single day off the board of course as you know is the brainchild of my friend crystal from uh pineapple papers here on youtube now the previous editions i was always able to participate every single day uh this month this year i knew i wasn't going to be able to because i had a little bit of a work marathon uh for the last two weeks in fact yesterday was in theory was in theory the last day of that so day 14 uh but i do have my regular work week coming up monday tuesday wednesday which is my regular work week so i only have today i'm recording this on sunday uh i'm not sure if it'll be up today or tomorrow but uh just have today before then um getting into being able to work only on Mondays for the rest of the month. And I have to admit, I'm, I'm, very, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm getting a little up there in age to be doing 14 days in a row, although it was not stressful. I have an amazing team. I'm, I'm just rather tired. And of course, I did not get to scrap as much as I wanted to, but I did get quite a bit done. Um, you will have seen by now my How to Kill a Kit with Style wrap up. I'm very happy with what I was able to do, all things considered there, and I'm happy with my month. So this, as you have requested, is where you will find all of my projects for the month. I have a playlist as well for all of July's projects, and that playlist includes kit share so sort of the how to kill a kit with style kit share it includes any hauls that i might have done and special videos other than projects so i finished up that was one lovely lovely thing that i'm very very happy about i did finish the week in the life i have a completely separate video on that so i won't go over it but it's in the album it's completed uh, I did do some of it in the latter part of June, and I finished it up in July. And I do think I got a couple of them um, for Off the Board. I think this one, I think this 6x8 might have been for Off the Board. And this one as well. So I did get that done. I'm quite, quite happy with that. Then... The rest of the projects, this was Stretch the Sketch, and this is my Certificate of Adoption of Elvis. So they all have videos, so I won't go back over everything. So this is just sort of a little bit of a capsule uh, so that you can see, am I in frame? Yes. If you've missed anything, and just, you know, a little bit of a refresher and to go back. And for some of you that like to see all the layouts in one place. 6x8, Stretch the Sketch, my adoption of Elvis, which I'm just thrilled about. And I love, love, love this background. There's some stenciling with ink, some stamping, um, first and second generation, some Bramble Fox, Dotty About Flair and a little bit of Vicky Boone's Sweet Rush peeking through there. Then the remainder of these are 12 by 12 layouts. Um, the Coco Vanilla Storyteller Collection made it into my room this month, so I need to work at using up no limits before I play with storytellers. So this is one layout with the no limits. This was for the Dottie About Flare Hop on the 25th. So um, one of my DT projects. Again, the lovely Elvis. And we were using um, a gorgeous sketch by Lisa, Lisa Sikorsky from Scrap a Sketch. Some XL flares, the twine in honor of my friend Helen. And again, 
All right, Elvis, isn't he handsome? Look at him. There we go. Christmas in July. And this I went into my Christmas stash. So into the Vicky Booten Christmas. Uh, warm wishes, not Christmas wishes. Warm wishes. Lots and lots. So some stenciling on the background. I used a Bramble Fox stencil and some glacier paste. And then the rest is very minimal. Lots and lots and lots of layers around my photo. A um, couple of tabs. So another Bramble Fox bit here. Some... Dotty about Flare, Flare Alicious, and some gorgeous sequins from the, what is it, Glacier, Glacier something collection, <laughs> my friends. The video will tell you exactly. Hearth and Home, uh, this is a lovely sunset that Joey had taken uh, in the new year, on the first of the year, actually, when he was finally able to make it back to Florida after... Um, after three years, I guess. Yes. So there you go. Their 25th anniversary, the cake with the Echo Park Birthday Boy collection. This was a Spiegel Mom Scraps project. And I love, love, love these balloon shakers. And uh, I sort of show you how I do that in the video for that one. Um, some Flarelicious pieces. Look at that, fella. Isn't that fun? I, I really, really enjoyed making, making these, uh, shakers. Again, using the Echo Park Birthday Boy. Now into the Vicky Booten Sweet Rush for pretty much the rest of these. This, I think, is definitely one of my favorite layouts, if not my favorite layout from this month. Now, all of these were also off the board. Uh, we combined the Sketch Sundays. We combined the May I Scrap With You. So well, I had some mood boards. Um, all of them are off the board as well. I think with the exception um, of my Dotty About Flare projects, which I don't really count. And I don't know whether, did I include, I think I did. I think I put a mood board uh, up for the Spiegel Mom Scraps one. So there you go. This I absolutely love. Lots of fussy, fussy cut bits. Nicole Jones 911 Butterflies. Just love this one. Another one for the same album, which I've talked to you a lot about. Did some stenciling here with my favorite Prima stencil and um, some glacier paste. I think is it in pineapple something. Lovely, lovely yellow. An extra large flare here, which I always get excited when I can use. Uh, Bramble Fox uh, title piece here. I love the Vicky Booten Sweet Russian. I think I've said this before, is such a perfect collection for Adela and Chloe's for their New York visit. It's just, it's got that young and fun and cool vibe to it. I just love using it for this album. This was a May I Scrap Lift You, and I Scrap Lifted the lovely and very, very talented Karen Leahy, who is a fellow Dotty About Flair design team member, but I've been following um, Karen's um, creations for a very, very long time. I think I first came across them through uh, maybe a Chamel class, I believe, way, way, way back. She does such beautiful stuff. She's a paper scrapbooker as well as a digital scrapbooker. And if you go back to that video, you will find all of the details and links to her Instagram uh, as well as you will also see her gorgeous original recording the Wimbledon ceremony for the 100th edition of Wimbledon. Another Wimbledon. This was day one of the 12 days of scrap lifts over in the scrap squad uh, Facebook group. And I'm sad to say that was a bit of a fail for me because I only got this one done. But hey, I got one done. Makes me happy to have got one done. This was a sketch Sunday, uh, off the board as well, of course, and a sketch Sunday using the Vicky Booten, again, the New York album. This is the last layout I did this month, and it was, um, hmm, 
what, what, oh, I think, what did I do? I think I used, it's an off the board. And what did I use for this? Did I use a quote, something to make you smile? I can't remember, but I love this. And this was a photo that Helen had sent me on Sunday, the 26th of June, as she was watching my YouTube videos with Buddy all curled up here. Buddy was at the fairly early, I guess, just about a third of the way into his confinement, poor fellow, for a spinal issue. He has since gone for his first walk. I think he's slowly, slowly, starting on Friday, very slowly over a four-week period, resuming uh, some of his normal activity. This was a May I Scrap Lift You, and this was also on the 26th of June when Crystal sent me. So I have these two that are going to go into my passion scrapbooking and I love them. Crystal watching my videos and Helen watching my videos. I have the most awesome friends. Then this one um, was for my second Dottie About Flair um, design team project for the month of July on the 29th. So that was very, very recent as well. Some Shadney bits as well of course, as the Flairalicious pieces, some Bramble Fox bits, and some sequins from the Don't Rush Me collection from Spiegel Mom Scraps, of course. And another uh, lovely and fun layout. This was my second um, project for Spiegel Mom Scraps in July, and this is another favorite of mine for this month for sure. I just love making these sort of bursts with buttons in the middle. I've done it a couple of times and I really love the impact and I love it. So fun always, Bramble Fox title. This, if you watch the video, you saw that I made a little boo-boo. I scratched down here and almost did a little bit of a tear. So I just filled my little corner, which I love to do anyway and a scrap lift of Helen. This one I just could, as soon as I saw her layout, when she made this layout, I had to go and scrap lift it as well. And this is recording the heat wave on the 26th of June, one of our heat waves. Uh, this one only lasted about four days, but I think it was day four of four. So None of my fans or air conditioners or anything like that were keeping up. In fact, I only had the one unit at that point, and this day convinced me to get a second, thank goodness, because we had a 10-day long heat wave, which we got out of early in the week, and it's, I unfortunately sent it to my dear friend Christy, which I really did not mean to do, um, and now she's sending it back because we'll be back into the 30s tomorrow. Today, Sunday, is sort of, you know, inching up there, 27 or 28, I think, with about a 30 feel. This was recording the 26th when, basically, I had to retreat to my bedroom in the afternoon, getting ready for the Wimbledon start on the Monday, the 27th. My sports channel, the Sports Network, always puts the replay of the finals on the Sunday before. So Chopin and I um, just sat on the bed and watched that. And I scrap lifted my dear friend Helen. And I love this layout as well using the Vicky Booten Sweet Rush. So there you go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 12 by 12s, this 6 by 8, and I think about 3 in there. So out of the 31 days of off the board, I got about 20 done. Admittedly, I think a couple were maybe not off the board. So a little bit better than I expected, but not as much as I would have wanted. But I'm looking forward to a very late 
work month in August. I basically have three days to get through, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, first, second, and third. And then I work only Mondays for the rest of the month, which is awesome because, of course, the uh, Banque Nationale Omnium, so the tennis championship is coming up here. We have a Masters in Montreal and Toronto. So one year the women are in Montreal, the next year the men. And when the men are in Montreal, the women are in Toronto, vice versa. This year we have the men in Montreal. Um, I've got a grounds pass for the Saturday, which is still, you know, the qualifiers. And then they're going to be looking and that will enable me. So that's like a full day uh, grounds pass uh, with um a seat it's it's like i think it's like 25 dollars. well it's a, the free to the grounds it's free to get into the grounds and spend a whole day on the grounds and then they have a few seats allocated on a first come first serve but you act if you actually want a seat and a good seat like in the 100s i think it's like 25 dollars for that one day it's crazy and i love going to that because then it's sort of Let's me see the feel and the draws, and then on the spot I can buy any additional tickets. And I haven't bought them too far in advance because, frankly, um, if it's going to be thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, it, it, it's no point in me even going because I cannot, I cannot be outside in that weather at all. And then some of the very, very important, you know, semis, finals, and even quarters. Um, it's fun to be there for the atmosphere, but I do love the game, so I prefer actually watching them on TV so I can really see. So usually when I buy tickets, they're for the earlier uh, days, you know, second, third round, maybe, so that I can soak up the atmosphere, have some fun, but not, you know, need to be overly concentrated on the game. So there's me rambling on something that has nothing to do with scrapbooking, although you will be seeing that recorded very soon. Thank you so much for being with me, my friends. That is July and the books. And let's see what we can do with August. What are you going to be getting up to in August? Is it do you get to scrap a lot? Are you more outside a lot? Um, tell me all about your August scrappy plans down in the description box. See you soon, my friends. Bye for now.